Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Link, yes, Chainlink, and how it's been in this accumulation phase for about 190 days, despite the uh, fiestos going on right now. We're going to be exploring that on closer timeframes and taking a look at newsbtc.com in regards to one of their Link articles. You don't wanna miss this video guys, and I will see you there. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are new to the channel and you want to see more of this content, go ahead, smash that like, subscribe, and tick that notification bell to stay in tune with my future videos. Let's jump in and take a look at the price of Link. What we can see is that it has been in this accumulation phase for around about 190 days. We have seen uh, Link accumulate in this range. Now this range has or is around about $6 to at the tippity top at about $9.50. That's not a bad range and in percentage wise we can see that is around about 36%. So it has given rise to a nice range and anyone that was using grid bots for link that wouldn't have been too bad. But however, let's take a look at this news article from newsbtc.com. Chainlink increases accumulation to 190 days after the FTX fiasco is $12 even possible? Now, before we go on to explore that, let's take a look at this $12 mark and why it is so crucial on the daily for Link. If we're to zoom out right here, we can see that this $12 mark in, in white is actually right here. And the reason it is so important, we can see that when we were above this white period, the price of Link absolutely rocketed. We can see that this is a massive level in regards to the $12 mark. Why? Well, it's all time high is around about 332% above that of the $12 mark at around about $52.50. However, are we even close to that? Well, let's do some technical analysis to understand that. This is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. Now, Let's take a look first. I want to take a look at the volume on the daily because there is something happening right now. We can see that we had this big sell-off once we retested the top of this range that we have been um, essentially barding uh, with for the last 190 days at around about $9.50. Now we did have this big rejection onto this nice level of support and if I quickly zoom out, we can see that prior we had rejections at this level here and once we had support, we also had a lot of support at this level here as well. So this is a big support range for the price of Link at around $6 as well. Now, we fell onto this level, but what we can see with the volume is this big blow off the top. What this gives rise to or could give rise to is some consolidation with the price, more barding. And I know this video is about, well, are we going to see $12? But the volume is one definite warning as to potential some more consolidation on the daily. But we're not done with TA yet, guys, and we're going to jump onto some more indicators as well. There's one really important thing that's also giving rise to some quick price action with the price of Link. What I'm looking at right now on the daily is the four moving averages. These are simple moving averages, and we have the 20, 50, 100, and 200. Now, what we are experiencing right here is very interesting. This here, you can see they're all converged. This is known as a whipsaw event and gives rise to very, very fast price action. Now, when it comes to this, what we are trading under is all the moving averages. So the price is currently under all the moving averages. This can be seen quite as quite bearish as well. So this is something to look forward to. There could be some very quick price movements inbound. So to give you an illustration of that, when we have whipsaw events, we have them converging as such. So if we look back here, we have all the uh, moving averages converging here before we had this big pump to the top side on the daily. We had a nice convergence here with a bunch of moving averages as well. But more importantly, what's scary with this convergence is that all moving averages are so closely converged that this more than likely could give rise to a very fast uh, um, change in direction of price. In addition, guys, what it basically means is as this is dynamic support and resistance with moving averages, they reject and support price, okay? You can see it right here. This means that this could be a potential very strong level of resistance as all those moving averages are clustered together. Now, I'm not done yet. We're going to check the parabolic SAR. The, the parabolic SAR is still painting above these candles, meaning that Technically, price is to continue to the downside. Now, obviously, past performance is not always indicative of future performance, but this is something to be looking out for as well with the parabolic SAR. Now, one thing I want to look at is the VRVP, the volume 
uh, range volume profile. And what we can see is the point of control, the highest volume node is at around $7. Now, what we can see is the price is under that. And yes, you can see that this is obviously another level locally as well. We can see that on this point of control, this red line, we have levels of support, prior resistance when we've touched it as well, vice versa, okay? So this is a point of control. This is the highest um, volume node, meaning that the highest amount of volume traded at this price with the given chart in here. So this is something to be looking out for as well when it comes to this range period that we have experienced with LINK for the last 190 days. Now, I'm not done just yet. We're going to look at the uh, moving average convergence divergence. What is the moving average convergence divergence telling us? Well, we have had a bearish cross here as we rejected from that $7.50. Actually, is it $7.50? Where is it? $9.50, sorry, on the top of that range of that 36% we're ranging from and barting for the last 190 days. We rejected from there when we had this bearish cross right here. And what we're seeing right now is that the histogram is tapering lighter and into that bearishness, which means we could potentially see a bullish cross. Similar to the left here, we see the histogram tapering off before we have that bullish cross and a correlation with price increase and a another retest of another level of resistance at $8 as well. So what we're seeing now is that the histogram is tapering off. We have a nice uh, distance between these two, uh, signal line and MACD line as well potentially telling us like it did here as well, that there could be a big movement should we have a bullish cross, we may have a lot of momentum to come up and at least retest this level at $8 on the daily, this would be nice. But of course, uh, past performance is never indicative of future performance and MACDs can bump and run as such, as you can see right here. Now, I wanna look at the hourly. So yes, on the daily, there's a lot to happen before we even analyze or see the uh, price of $12 be retested, but should it be, that could be very bullish for the price of LINK. Now, before jumping on the hourly, I wanna talk about my video yesterday. I was talking about Matic and how it had this bearish trend line right here. We can see that we had multiple touches. Yes, we spoke about it, and we were coming towards the end of that squeeze. Now, I mentioned that I could, on the hourly, potentially be taking a short or a long, depending on a confirmation candle on this time frame. What we can see is, yes, we did come up and retest this upper level of this range in which we were sitting at being resistant at about 95 cents. However, there was no clear confirmation candle and I did not enter a long on that position. I am still waiting and I am neutral with Matic. So that's the update as to yesterday's video as well for Matic. Now, if you are interested in trading, go ahead, check out my description link below. OKX Exchange is great. Check it out. They have bonuses and giveaways as well. So go ahead, entice yourself, do your own research and the link is below as well. Now, let's jump onto the hourly chart for, for um, Link and we're gonna take a look at what what exactly is going on on the hourly. Now, the first thing I wanna look at is the moving averages one more time. We're gonna look at the four moving averages and what we can see is some potential bullish action right now. We've got a 20 period crossing up through the uh, 50 period in green and the 100 period in yellow, meaning that the 200 period is left. So we are, the price is trading above the 20, 50 and 100 period moving average and that is quite bullish on the hourly for the price of link. What we do have now is this 200 period acting as dynamic support and resistance and could potentially potentially drive the price down should it fail and the bulls have not enough steam. Now, moving on as well, I do want to take a look at the MACD here on the hourly chart because there is something very, very important to be looking out for. Let's get rid of these moving averages. Again, on the hourly chart, what we are seeing is that the histogram has continued to taper off lighter, now we, meaning that we could have a bullish cross. Yes, we do have a bit of distance between that MACD and that signal line. However, we are yet to uh, see that cross and we are still tapering red. So let's take a look at some local levels and some potential trades that I might be looking at right now. You can see here at $6.50, if I enter the coordinates correctly, right here with TradingView, by the way, is an amazing platform to do your technical analysis. Go check it out. We can see that with Haken Ash, we do have a clear confirmation candle above this. However, we are yet to experience that cross. Now, this is going to act as a level of support on the hourly. Why? Well, if we look to the left, guys, we can see that every time we come down onto this $6.50 level, we have found support or found resistance right here. You can see. However, we did have this inverse, nice head and shoulder, and we had a pump to the upside right now. So what we are seeing here is a crucial level of support and the price of LINK could be supported at this level as well. Taking a look at the Ichimoku cloud, we can see, bang, that we did have a nice conversion line up through the baseline, nice signal there. 
We come into the cloud, we come above it. Now we had leading span A come above. What this means is the cloud is now computing potential levels of support or resistance. Now, because the price has broken above the cloud, this means that now if the price is to come back on to the cloud, this could act as a level of support. And this will change dynamically with the price as well as it continues to compute future price action. So recapping on the daily, we do have a crucial level. Yes, we have this level at $8 as well. We can see mass rejections here as well. I mean, we've got to pass $8 before we even think about $9.50. Should we even come up to retest $9.50? Even though we have been ranging for 190 days in this range, then we can consider the nice big $12 level right here. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, go ahead, leave a comment. What do you think about it? I mean, are we going to continue ranging here or did we just touch this crucial level of support and potentially be facing a nice bounce at least to the top of this range for the last 190 days of 44% from its current price right now. Very interesting times for Link, guys. Go ahead. If you are interested in further information, check out this news article from newsbtc.com and it talks all about Link and especially on its weekly charts as well. Guys, until then, I'll see you in the next video.